Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are unboxing another plant mail. And if you guys have been following me on my Instagram, I did order a box from AH Hoya. I'll put down their link below. But here it is. This one is from Thailand. And this got shipped July 3. And today is July 15. And it's exactly... Um, I'm Asian, but my math sucks. It's exactly 12 days. But... I just hope it's alive. I've been stalking it in the mail. Okay, so this is what it's the inside. Oh. This is what the inside looks like. A bunch of newspapers. Oh no. I'm already seeing some dead leaves. But I don't know if you guys can see already, there's some, there's a few dead leaves. I hope the casualty isn't that much. Um, but let me put it here on this side. You gotta, I, I was mentally prepared for this, but now that I'm seeing it, I'm kind of like nervous. Okay, so the first one, Hoya Helwigiana. I'm gonna put down the names below for this. Um... But here it is. So of course, there is some dead ones that I'm just gonna take off. They're kind of scary looking. But I think, yeah, I think they're good. A little bit of Super Thrive should do the trick, but here's another close-up of the leaves. Yep, so that one's good. I'm very happy. And these all came um, bare roots. I believe that's tissue and then a rubber band and some plastic in it. If you guys want to see the roots real quick. The tissue paper is definitely dry. And I don't know about these roots, but they're pretty dry too. I don't know if... These are salvageable. I might just have to reroute them, which is not too bad, but it has one, two, three cuttings. Okay, so that's the first one. Okay. <laughs> are you guys ready? Okay, so the second one is uh, Hoya Kalim Kalimantan. Kalimantan. This is a Callistophila Callistophila type. A bit dehydrated. Um, but yeah. I think it will it will bounce back. I'm not too worried. I'm gonna show the roots later, but I'm gonna go through the plant for now. Okay, next one is the Hoya Deki Deki Daiki. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But here are the leaves. And I think this one's a goner. Yep, that's a goner. But a lot of um, dried aerial roots. Also a bit dehydrated, but that's normal. It's been 12 days. Okay. You look good. So far, no one's dead, dead yet. Oh, mind you, I did order 12 because that was the max you can do without permit. You can order more, but you have to get um, permit from your agriculture. Oh my gosh, you wanna, I wanted to show you guys this real quick. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, trying to be careful. This one is not looking too good. I don't know if I can revive this. But the next one is... Oh yeah. Oh, this one is something I was looking forward to so much. It's the Macrophila 
Bayi, bayi bu, bayi bua. I don't know how to pronounce it, but no. I was looking forward to this one the most. Let me just take out the dead leaves. It just didn't do well. But I'm hoping I can still save it because, you know, the stem is still there or maybe... I don't know, they don't look too good. So that's probably my first rest in peace one. And the next one I have is the Hoya Waimane Borneo. Okay, this one's not too bad. Dehydrated, yes. It's pretty long. He gave me a pretty long one. Thank you, Nada. If I'm pronouncing your name right. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, it's a bit dehydrated, but here's the close up of this guy. Next one. Next one is Hoya SP4 from WMZ. Oh, this one's pretty. The hardier leaves um, did do a bit well compared to the other ones. But here's that one. Happy, happy. A dead leaf. <laughs> oh. oh no. It just looks dehydrated. I think you can bounce back, right? This one is the Kene 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 Varigata. Some have a little bit of heat burn, I'm assuming. Um, here's here's what the leaves are supposed to look like. It's a bit curly. There you go. But I'm hoping Super Drive will do the do its magical powers. <laughs> okay, next one is Hoya Globulosa. Hoya Globulosa. You are dead. Goodbye. Um, this oh, it's so fuzzy. It's so fuzzy. It's so fuzzy. It's everything I want in a plant. Okay, so that's what it looks like. This one has a bit of yellowing. I like this one. And it did great! Okay, this one's a long one. This one is the Hoya Vitellinoides. Vitellinoides. Noides. And same thing, just a bit dehydrated. I'm hoping it would bounce back. But the leaves are huge. It's weird though, because I've seen my friend, they, they have like thick ones. But this is thin, so I don't know if it's just a different variety. Or maybe it's just dehydrated, but it feels thin. Um, but here's the leaf. It looks sad, but it's pretty, it's pretty long. Next one is... Okay. I'm gonna save you for less. Okay. This one is the Tomsoni Eye Pink. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I, I, I just love... You guys already saw that one. I just <laughs> go back in there. Oh my gosh, it's so fuzzy. And it looks okay. It looks happy. I think this one and the Globulosa are like the best condition so far. Is it Globulosa? Yeah, you are, you are Globulosa. The fuzzy ones are the best so far. Fuzzy power. 
Okay, I think this is my last one. And, oh, no, never mind. There's another one. That's... Oh, no. <laughs> this one's like dead, dead. Like, ugh. This is probably gonna be my saddest one. Well, that's what you get for getting variegated, Janelle. A lot of people said don't get variegated one. alive anymore is everything just dead I think everything's just dead uh, but here's a close up oh no my oh, poor baby this one is the Hoya Carnosa Suzy Q Carnosa is supposed to be hardy what happened <laughs> I know it's variegated but He loves me. He loves me not. He loves me. Okay, there's one al kind of alive leaf, but that's what it's supposed to look like. Oh my gosh, I'm so sad about this one. Okay, moving on. I got the small ones because I was. it was my first time ordering from Thailand, so I was scared. And on top of that, there's a pandemic, so it makes it harder. But I got a bunch of small. I did get one long one because YOLO. But I got a long one and this one is H029. And here it is. The long one. Um, but yeah. A bit dehydrated but I think this one looks really good too. A lot of my friends did say that it's better to get longer ones compared to smaller ones so you have more leaves more chances of the leaves surviving and I think they're right either that or this one is just really hardy you know and survived but let me give you guys a close-up of the leaf that's what the leaf looks like Here's a big one. Here's a big pretty one. Look at that. Wow. I think, yep. I just need to put this in Super Thrive and see what happens. Okay, you're just, you're just gonna block. Okay, let's go to this side. All right. I was actually the um, test shipping for Hawaii. I don't know if I'm the only one, but I am supposedly the first one during the pandemic. AH Hoya did offer me two options. One is the EMS, and then one is the courier shipping, which I think is UPS ground. I'll correct it if I'm wrong down below. But um, the EMS was like two to three weeks, and that's only from mainland. Um, the UPS ground is supposed to be five to eight business days. So we're looking at one to two weeks for that one. Of course, it was kind of double the price, but he did offer to pay for the FIDO sanitary certificate um, for free, which I truly appreciate. Thank you so much. And, but yeah, one to two weeks, I took that one instead of the two to three, even though I have to pay more, but it wasn't so bad. The shipping is by weight, so depending on the weight and the size of the box, if I'm not mistaken. Hawaii is different from mainland, so just send him a message on... Messenger would be the fastest to reach them compared to email. But send them a message on um, Facebook Messenger and they would be able to give you the rates um, for Hawaii or for whichever state you're at. But warning, they are kind of backed up right now because you know a lot of people are like trying to get hoyas and they're still they're not like sending them all immediately like mass sending them they're kind of doing like a few per week and then check how that goes and then send some more later so the queue time is a bit longer so if you're patient and you don't mind waiting um i think it's worth it like for what i spent as long as i can rehab 11 this is 12 as long as I can rehab at least 10 to 11, I'd be happy and I think it was worth it. But as you all know, with the pandemic 
um, going and with Hoya's Hoya prices skyrocketing and for some of you that don't know why like confused oh why is Hoya so expensive it's because um, because of the pandemic a lot of people are either bored or have impulse buying like me or you know it started a new hobby with gardening and just like realize the Hoyas are amazing. Yes, they are. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of demand, but not that much supply. So that's why they're so expensive. So like, take me for instance. I have like a bunch of one node ones. And once I get like a two node or three nodes or something, and I try to get a cutting from that, that's the only one I have. And as much as Hoyas do grow kind of fast-ish, they are still somewhat of a slow grower sometimes. So if I have that small one node, yeah, I'll try to I'll try to sell it as much as I could because I, I do want to get some more Hoyas. So I do want I do try to offer deals to my friends, like either sell them really cheap or trade and stuff. Oh my gosh, trading is the best way to collect Hoyas now because it's like it's just been crazy. But I think so far overall, um, I think it went well. Like everything that I got, I think they would survive. Um, this one is the only one that I'm like, can I really save it? But I hope you guys enjoy. I, go, I hope you guys learned a thing or two. I do have to say, I think mainland customers, you guys would probably get your Hoyas way faster um, compared to how I got it. Because instead of my mail going from Thailand to Hawaii, which I'm supposed to get hit first or dropped off first, it went to Miami and then it went to another part in Miami and then or Florida and then Georgia, Illinois, California. It was in California for like three days. I was like freaking out. I'm like, why is it there? But I finally got to Hawaii and I don't know about you guys as much as I'm sad about this little guy. I'm pretty happy with everything and I'm super excited to rehab them and see how it goes. I'm gonna put them in super dark water right now. So Okay, so here's everyone. Carnosa Susie Q. This one is the Globulosa. Yep, just double checking. Tomsonia Pink. We have Telenoids. The Telenoid is. Um, this one's the color. Uh, this one's H029. Um, this one is the SP4 WMZ from WMZ. This is the Kalimantan. Um, what are you again? Waimanai... Waim, Waimanai... Waimanai... <laughs> Borneo. <laughs> Sorry. Um, the Macrophylla... Oh no. Helwigiana. And the Kinegiana. Regatta. But yeah. That's everything. All I can find for now, excuse my wares. This bottle of coke that I washed and then I put like a almost an, an ml of the super thrive. So I put filtered water in this and then mixed them together. I used two of this and then put it in this is the biggest pot I can find, but took all the um the plastic out and here's some of the roots. Hoping they would bounce back. I have them somewhere. Um, kind of dark in my house, not, not too bright. I'll probably close the curtain in a bit um, just so they can recover. But that's all I have for today. I'll catch you guys later. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And as always, stay safe, take care, and God bless. Bye.